Hey guys, I'm taking you with me to the Habitat Restore in Lenore, North Carolina, and I gotta tell you, oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. They actually told me that when the doors first open that everybody kind of rushes in and it's crazy, it's a madhouse, but I'm kind of excited to be a part of that. I've been over there when maybe they've been open like an hour, hour and a half, and it was still crazy then. I didn't get to go last night, so I don't want to miss out on anything, and I want to take you with me, so I'm excited. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> So here we are in the parking lot and look, it's not time for them to open. There's already a lot of people. We got to get out there and get in the middle of it. So I thought we'd stay up front. Everybody kind of ran back to the back for all the um, home decor items. So we'll take a look at the furniture. So that was an ottoman. I think it was $50. I absolutely love that. It was like a footstool ottoman. And look at this. So this is Bernhardt Furniture, $425. I love these white pieces of furniture. I don't know how practical it is to keep it clean, but I think it's beautiful. Oh, look at this wingback chair for $150. I thought this was gorgeous. And they told me that these were some samples that Bernhardt Furniture had made for different companies. Oh, and look at this white swivel chair for $150. And they've got another one with just a little bit of a different design coming up. And I got to tell you, I don't think that's a stain. I think that's just how my camera uh, with the lighting showed up. Oh, and look at this. So this is a sofa table for, I think it was $30. I really like that. And these are wall sconces. They've just got them sitting upside down, but you turn them over. I think those were $5 a piece. I would look at this for $12. It kind of looks like that pie stand that we found at another location. I would probably just use that as a plant stand or maybe just a random shelf. Look at this burgundy wingback chair for $50. I thought that was a fantastic price. Oh, and I love this tan love seat. It was a little over $200. Oh, I thought that was so pretty. And I love the nail head trim on the sides. You know me. <laughs> you know me. I love that nail head trim. Oh, look at this for $8. This floral arrangement just really caught my eye. Oh, and here's a twin headboard for $15, and they had the matching nightstand. It did have a little damage to the top, but $20, that might be something fun to take, try to sand, redo. And then they also had the little dresser, and I think that was maybe $35 or $40. Oh, and I love this desk. I'm in the market for another computer desk, so $25. It was a little bit small for what I wanted, but I thought it was perfect if you needed something that didn't take up much room, 25 bucks. Oh, I wanted to show you this fancy chair. So a red leather chair with the ottoman for $75. Talk about a statement. And I love this little glass top table for $35. And they had some other side tables coming up that I thought were gorgeous. And like I always say, check out your Habitat Restore for lamps. This lamp was $12. Oh, and here's a brown leather recliner for $275. And I think this was a sample. They were just kind of showing you the different colors of leather that you could use on the recliner. But you know what? Throw an African over that. No one's ever going to see it. And here's a power motion recliner for $350. And I'm sorry, the sun was really bright. I hope you guys can see that. It was the most beautiful brown and it's got the nail head trim on it. And look at this table. So it's got a metal base. I love the top. It felt like a really kind of thick lacquered finish on it for $50. Oh, and this. I love this. This was probably one of my favorite pieces. So it's a really long bench. This would be so pretty at your entryway if you had room for it. It was $65. Oh, here's that other swivel chair I was talking about for $50. This is a brand new piece of Bernhardt furniture. Oh, and I love that metal base on it. Okay, so someone had already taken the tag off of this, so that means they're going to purchase it. And I loved it. 
There was another one I'm going to show you coming up. And look at these chairs. So these are $65. And I got to tell you, they had two of them. Oh, I thought that was so pretty. I love the material on the seat. And look at the carving. Oh, I love those heavily carved legs and the armrest. Oh, I love, love, love that type of furniture. And I got to tell you, oh my gosh, I almost got creamed coming up. It was so crazy here. So look at this. It does have a leak. A table leak. It's right here. Okay. Oh, that scared me to death. <laughs> so I went over and look. I turned the corner and they had all of these stamps. And I got to tell you, I actually had two different people run into me while I'm here at the stamps. <laughs> It was crazy there, but I just wanted to go through these and kind of take our time and, you know, make sure that we saw these. I couldn't believe it. If you're a crafter, definitely check out your restore. I thought these would be gone. I think they had to actually put more out. And these are huge stamps for like a dollar, a dollar fifty, two dollars. Look at that one. Oh, that's so pretty. 50 cents. I actually dug around and found some for a quarter. Oh, mon ami. Everyone out there, y'all are mon ami. <laughs> Aren't these beautiful? Oh. Oh, there it is again, the Eiffel Tower. One day I'm going to be there. <laughs> One day. And whoever's collection this was, I think they really liked pears. There were a lot of pear stamps. Oh, that one was pretty. What does that say? Fly a little letter. And this had some of the original prices on the sides of the stamps. And I think some of those went for like $10, $11, $12. Oh, and there's a multiple sod stamp for $3. Aren't these pretty? Um, you know, I don't do stamping, but gosh, when I run across these, it kind of makes me want to start. Look at that, $10.75, but you could get it here for a dollar. This was the most beautiful stamp I've ever seen in my life, hands down. Oh, I was so tempted to buy this, $3. Isn't that dreamy? Oh, and look at this one for Thanksgiving with the turkey. That's a huge stamp, so normally $12. Look at that. You could get it here for $3. And you guys will have to let me know, who is this guy? <laughs> $3. Oh, I'm thinking, was that Da Vinci? Oh, isn't that one pretty? Oh, I love that. Two dollars. Oh, and look, there's the top of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, one day I am going to be there. That was probably my second favorite stamp. I love that. Oh, and look at these smaller stamps. These were, I think, 50 cents and maybe it'll look 25 cents, even as cheap as 25 cents. Look at that. You know, that'd be fancy if you had, if they had your last name letter, your first name letter to do um, your stationery or even your envelopes, stamp your envelopes with that. Talk about fancy. <laughs> that would definitely make it fancy. Look at these. They just go on and on. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I really wanted to take my time and just kind of show you what they had. And nobody really seemed interested in these. I, I kind of got to take my time here and look at everything. Oh, limited edition. We are all a limited edition. <laughs> Enjoy your lives out there. We are a limited edition.
Oh, and look at these. So finally, it kind of cleared out over the Christmas section. So I thought I'd take a stroll back over through here. Oh, and look at this. It actually, you could put batteries in it. I guess it lit up. Isn't this fun? Oh, it's so fun just to be a part of all this crazy business. <laughs> oh, look at this chair. So this chair was $45. Oh, I loved it. It's definitely got that French provincial vibe. I just love the yellow seat on it. Look at that. I wouldn't change a thing about that chair. Oh, love, loved it. And this picture caught my eye. I just love the blue and the white. That was $2. And like I always say, check out your ReStore for mirrors. Look at this mirror. I think this mirror was $25. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and here's a burgundy chair. I think this chair was $100. And they, look at that. You get the ottoman with it. And they've got the sofa to match. And I think the sofa was just a little over $100. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, here's that other table. I think the person maybe just didn't see that one. I love that drawer pull with a line on it. And I think that was $30. Oh, so pretty. And here's some Melame plates. So these are 50 cents a piece. And they had different designs on these. So I am down in the floor on my knees <laughs> digging through these just to show you what they've got. So I thought that was a really good deal. And I got to tell you, they were putting more stuff out. So I came across these little angels and I thought they were beautiful. I love angels, especially at Christmas. Oh, I think that one either lights up or plays music. Aren't they pretty? Oh, and look at this one. So it says mother. And I saw that it was a bell. Have you ever heard... Um, Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. <laughs> so we had to help it get its wings. And look at this. So if you do Christmas candies or cookies, you know, definitely check out your ReStore for all of these containers. I think these were like 50 cents a piece. And we can't even get them at the dollar store for that price. Oh, look at that. 50 cents. Oh, they're so pretty. You know, take those home, wash them out, you know, put a little wax paper in it. It's going to be perfect. Oh, and I thought this one was the prettiest one. 50 cents. Oh, and I thought I had found something for my mantle. So I couldn't find the O <laughs> in the joy. So it's just a J and a Y. So maybe it was there somewhere. I couldn't find it. And look at this wooden angel. I thought that would be perfect for a wreath, a dollar. And there's an even better angel coming up. And look, so they had bins of these ornaments. And they range like from a dollar a bag to three dollars a bag. And I think I told you in a prior video, I actually found mercury glass ornaments at my Habitat Restore a few years ago. And I dug around in this bin. And I got to tell you, I actually found some older looking glass ornaments. So... Not these. These are kind of the ones that you put your own design inside. Look, there they are. Aren't those pretty? Oh, that just takes me back. <laughs> and you can buy Christmas lights at your restore. Oh, and I love this with the cardinal on it. They're definitely getting more and more Christmas items out. And like I said, people, you know, had already bought the items they ran in there to get, but they were putting more and more stuff out the longer I stayed there. And look at this, a brand new cake cutter server, $5. If you've got someone getting married or, you know, you're hosting a party, they had tons of these heart dishes, $2 a dish. Oh, those are so pretty. That'd be a perfect centerpiece for a table. Oh, look at this. This was the most unique item I saw at the ReStore today. So I think it's a little sugar bowl. And look, it's got this little scoop that you scoop your sugar out with. Isn't that fancy? Oh, I loved it for $5. And you know we've got to look at the dishes. These actually were made in Bavaria, Germany. I thought they were beautiful. And they look like maybe they had never even been used. And these were pretty too. I love them with the roses on it. And those were made in Japan. And 
I thought these were going to be heavy, but they weren't. So a dollar, uh, you know, I guess they were just glass. They were beautiful, though. And like I always say, these are perfect. Get one of those, $4, put some candies in it, give it to someone for Christmas. They're going to love it. And we do a little ornament exchange at my work. So, you know, definitely check out your restore for ornaments. I think these were like 50 cents, maybe a dollar. Oh, they're so cute. And here, these were new. I think they had just set these out. These are 50 cents a mug. And they've got the bowls and the larger bowls and the plates to match. Oh, I love it with a little snowman on it. 50 cents. This is the angel I was talking about. So it felt like brass. I don't know if it was a dollar. Wouldn't that be beautiful on your mantle or maybe on a wreath? Oh, I should have got that. <laughs> And look, oh, so a Santa play. And look, it's a Fitz and Floyd, $2. You know that would probably go for $20 online. Oh, and I love this snowman plate. So I think they had four of these. $2 a plate. Oh, they had just put these out. So everyone's gone. They've already, the frenzy's over. And look, so a dollar a plate. These were beautiful. Again, I'm down on my knees showing you guys this. So they've got the Christmas tree. They've got the snowman. And I'm trying not to break anything. <laughs> oh, it makes me so nervous in here. So, oh, and then the, they've got the little reindeer. I thought he was adorable. Oh, and Santa. Oh, and I love that little sleigh for $7. Oh, and these were pretty. These were really heavy. $2 a glass. Wouldn't that be fancy? Buy a bottle of wine. Give that to your friends for a gift. And like I always say, check out your restore for picture frames. I love that one, that metal frame for $3. I think that was a 5 by 7 Oh, and that one was cute too. Smaller frames typically are like 50 cents to a dollar. Oh, and I love this with the magnolias on it. And this actually was from Kirkland, so for 50 cents. And they had two of those. Oh, and I love these with the birds. I wanted to show you this. I would get these and actually make them into ornaments and put that on my Christmas tree. Aren't those cute? Oh, and definitely check out your Habitat Restore for pillows. Those were $4 a piece. And here's another shot around the store. And like I always say, when you buy something, you're also giving money to help someone with home ownership and home repairs when you shop your local Habitat Restore. I hope y'all have had fun with me. Hasn't this been fun? So this restore is open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 9 to 4. I'll link their information below. <gasps> what did y'all think about that? That was a little bit crazy. Actually, one of the tables, all the display stuff, the I think a mirror, actually somebody leaned on it and made everything come forward. I don't know if I caught that in my clip or not, but oh, it was crazy. They had so many good deals and so much good stuff. I'm definitely going to keep coming to this just to show you what they've got. So I hope everyone has a really good day out there. And until next time, come go with me today. Bye.